Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I know I've been blasting you guys with so much content, but it's just unmotivated. As you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be doing the 20 pound makeup challenge. And let me tell you something, that was a struggle, okay? Before we do go on to the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out today. So today's one goes to Kirsty Lalchan. Thank you so much for your comment. You are so sweet. So yeah, I went to Superdrug to my local super drug actually to get some makeup and I did not think it was going to be that hard because not only did I not have a lot of choice in my local super drug I mean there wasn't an, barely any brown stuff and it's like you need to kind of compromise you know I did definitely compromise and I don't know mine my selection of products are so random but let's just roll on to the clip and yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go walk into Super drugs right now, this is really awkward actually. When you start doing it, it's awkward. <laughs> Where's the basket? This is my I don't want a matte foundation actually. Oh, for Saturday the 18th of August, how are you? Today's always always are too perfect. Perfect. I'm just watching it. Temperature's peaking at 20 degrees. Guys, he's not just on the 18th in Joyce and Pembroke. Tomorrow, too perfect. Too perfect. Too perfect. Too perfect. Too perfect. Too perfect. It's number one thing when you're trying to do something cheap. Superdrug Live brings you the weather for the UK. I don't know what I do. So, Alright, I'm gonna get this. This is for power 15. And we've got like a bronzer, highlight, and something else like shimmery. Okay, I've got a brow pencil, £2.15. I'm gonna add that to it. Everything else is just like so pricey that I can't fit in my budget. I think I might have to get this lip. Oh no, it's eight That's way too much. Okay, I'm gonna get mascara. I have to get lash sensational because like my favourite. So that's what I'm saying. Wait, how much money are you at right now? 19.48. That's all I got. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna take that clear brow job. I'm still gonna buy it. I like. Oh, that's Superwoman. Oh yeah, Wonder Woman. Is it Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have to compromise. I'm gonna have to compromise in the star. Yeah, I'm gonna give the scar back, guys. I'm gonna go back to the cheeks. Do you remember when I was working at Booth's, they made me go on the makeup bar and then like start selling makeup? <laughs> and those people asking me questions, I was like, yeah, sure. Oh my god, I actually have so much else I can get. But I'm F12 and don't have it. I can't put it back. Is that powder? So dark. Oh my god. Ew. It's all over my fingers. Wait, are you found this? I don't know what else to get. Look at him putting everything back. I just left it in the basket. <laughs> this has bacteria in it. It's been open. I don't trust the show. Where are the brown shades? It's a 1949. That's all I could get, guys. Let's go, let's go. So it came up to 21.48 but 
I did get the collection clear mascara which I wanted to try for myself so that's just outside of the challenge but yeah it was so much harder than I thought so I'm gonna go home and try everything it's gonna I don't know what this is gonna turn out like <laughs> And also, just for this video, I didn't even put my student discount through. That's dedication right there, okay? So let's start. I always start with my brows. I think I need some type of moisturiser. If they look kind of white, it's because I put SPF on them. Anyways. Alright, so we're going to do our brows first. The first thing I got was this Duo Brow Definer by Makeup Revolution. This was £2.50. This was £2.50. It was really affordable and I think I've had this before, but it broke. So what we're going to do with this today. And I got the shade Dark Brown. I mean, I could have probably gotten a full face but you just buying Makeup Revolution stuff. But even that store there didn't even have my shade. So I was just like, oh, I just have to do with what I got. This is what the brow pencil looks like. Do little strokes. Oh, look. The water filter decides to make some noise. I feel like before I used to colour in my brows, but now I try to make it look like fluffy. Fluffy. I hate this brow so much. This one gives me so much trouble. This eyebrow product is very creamy. So the next thing I got was the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer, and I think this is new, I've never seen this before. And it was so affordable. I think it was 250. I got the shade at 170. They are cruelty free, so yes for that. Yes, 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 yes. So this is what the concealer looks like. I really hope this is gonna be okay for me. I did swatch it in store. Okay, okay. I don't see how it's full coverage though. It, it looks it feels very watery. See my beauty blender. I can compromise with foundation like if I if you just give me some concealer I'm I'll be okay with that so I'm just gonna highlight the centers of my face because this is more like a highlight concealer but it's not going ashy because it has a nice warmth to it so I'm just gonna do another layer because this is not full coverage to me no 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 MUA that's not full coverage <laughs> it's very like it's very thin um so I don't know It's not giving that much coverage, but it blends really nicely. Like, wow, I'm actually so surprised by this concealer. I've been more into like lightweight concealers lately, so this is really up my street. If you guys want to see like a natural, um, a natural kind of um, realistic back to school makeup, give this video a thumbs up. I would be happy to do that. My lips are dry AF. Hello. Okay, so now what we do next? I didn't buy any powders, so I guess we're gonna leave that like that. The next thing I got was this kind of like palette. It's an ultra sculpt and contour kit in ultra light medium. Excuse me. This looked like the darker one, but anyways. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We're gonna try this. Down the highlight looks ashy, ashy, ashy. This is what I used to always do when I would go to uni, just bit of concealer, bronzer. I wouldn't even wear foundation. I really like it when the perimeter of my face is like super bronzy, you know. What I am gonna do, I do love my I do love myself a bit of highlight, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, I'm trying to find a brush. I'm gonna mix the two shades here because they're saying this is kind of like a blush but it's very warm so I'm just gonna mix these two because this is just white okay it's like a very like skin like glow it's not an intense highlight Okay, so the next thing was this Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. I've never tried this one. I didn't want the lash sensational, but it made me go over my budget, so I had to get this one. Oh, I'm not liking the brush. I'm not liking the brush. What is this, guys? 
It's just like a comb. Okay, I take that back. I'm not too mad at it. Just love how it really does comb. But I normally when I try products like this, it doesn't give much volume. But this has so much product on the one that it kind of still does. I'm also going to put a little bit on my brows just to keep them in place. Maybe don't judge a book by its cover next time, Anushka. Just try it first, you know. Okay, so that's everything else done, I guess. I'm liking the highlight. When you mix the two together, it gives this beautiful skin glow. And that's without setting spray. Definitely a thumbs up. I'm actually happy with everything so far. Really happy. Like, would I use them again? Yeah, I thought, like, I picked the most random products ever. Um, but I've been surprised so far. But anyways, I guess the only thing I had to get was the lip. This is such a dark colour, but there was no nice nudes for my skin colour. They were all so light and I was struggling to find it within the budget. So I just went with a dark one. This is a matte lipstick in Diamond Life from Makeup Revolution. This is what it looks like. Oh, my battery's flashing just in time, guys. So, this is definitely not a lip I would go on, go for on a daily. It's a nice colour, it's definitely matte, and it's a nice finish, it's super creamy. It was only £3, I think this is rough application. But it doesn't, I don't like it on me. Mm. I love the mascara, like, a lot, and um, the concealer is something I would use again. And I don't know, I do like the little palette thing, it's really helpful, like it's only £3.50 so if you're on a budget it's really nice. Um, I don't know, it's it's nice, like it's not, it hasn't wowed me, you know, but definitely the mascara has wowed me and the concealer was something I was quite surprised by, considering, considering the price, but it's definitely not full coverage, please, please don't do that to me anyway. And it's actually not creasing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if there's any other challenges you would like me to do let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about the look guys. Did I do well or did I struggle? I think this was maybe a fail. I don't know. I feel like I could have gotten more products. So I don't know. This is a very natural everyday makeup look let's just say. Anyways I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.